welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to go over a really fun and kind of, um, well, it's not a new technique, but I just, I really haven't seen people do it in coloring books. I used to make cards and do scrapbooking, so I have all of this extra supplies still laying around, and I really loved using my gilding flakes on cards and scrapbooking um, pages as really fun little accents uh, to add some real fun like gold and rose gold accents. And I thought, why not do it in my coloring books? So a few days ago, I dragged out all of my gilding um, flake <laughs> supplies. So I've got a few different brands of gilding flakes here and different colors, as well as some tools that I like to use um, while applying them um, to the paper. So first of all, I think what I'll do is I'll start with showing you what it looks like on the page. I've done a couple of pages already, just kind of practicing. Um, the first one I did was in uh, City Among the Stars, and I did this page back here where I, all I've done is apply the gilding flakes. And I just applied it to the frame area here, and I really like that nice gold foil look. Um, I think once the page uh, is done and um, I get it all filled in and the background done. Um, I even experimented experimented with going over the edge because I got a little bit outside the edge in some of the areas. Um, going back over the edge with my black fine liner uh, just to clean it up a little bit and that looked really nice. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to be exploring this technique a little bit further. So what I thought we would do, oh, I have one more page to show you before we go ahead and dive in. I just finished doing this page here in Seasons and ooh, got some little flakes there. Yeah, that's one thing that I will talk about is they are a little bit messy, but it's easy to clean up. So what I did on this page is I just, I thought the gold chain work would be, or the chain work would be really nice in uh, some of this foil. And I used on this particular page, I used this one, which came in, it came in a plastic package, which I didn't like. So I put it in this jar here, but it's a mix of silver, gold and rose gold flakes. So I used that mix on this page here. I kind of messed up a little bit right in here. I didn't wait for the glue to dry. So that is a key, you wanna wait for the glue to dry. I'll go over all of that once we start getting into the actual application. So yeah, I think that's gonna look really good when it's finished as well. So what we are going to do is this title page right here. So I figured it would probably be easiest if I do all of my coloring first and then apply the gold foil gilding flakes at the end because I think that will be the best because I'm not sure. I mean, it might be okay, but you know, kind of like with any accent, you kind of want to apply it towards the end. It's up to you uh, how you want to do it. So what I thought would be nice is um, we're going to just try, hmm, now I got to decide. I kind of like this one in autumn leaves. So um, there's lots of, you'll find there's lots of brands of gilding flakes and um, by the way, my dog is over here snoring. So if you can hear <laughs> snoring, <laughs> Uh, it's just my little dog in her little bed next to me snoring. Anyway, 
So there's lots of brands. I, I really like the Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes. They have different colors, like I was saying. This is Autumn Leaves, and this is Summer Meadow. And I'll just open them up. Now, you definitely do, do not want to have a fan going or be under air conditioning vent or something. I mean, you even just breathe wrong and they fly all over. So just, just so you know, just a heads up there, but aren't these just absolutely gorgeous? I love the colors. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one. This is, see, um, this is the Autumn Leaves. I'll just quickly show you Summer Meadow. It's very similar, but it just has more greens in it, which is just as equally beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so I'm really glad I thought to use these in col this in coloring books. Um, but yeah, it does kind of get all over, but it's easy to clean up. I always have my little garbage can really handy, and I can just kind of brush all of that off into the garbage can or on the floor. It's easy to vacuum up. So let's go ahead and use the autumn leaves one. So, oh yeah, I didn't mention, this is um, another brand that makes them Heidi Swap. And this is just all rose gold on this one, so. Okay, so one thing I like to do is I like to get a paper plate or, you know, something that I can just pour a little bit out. Um, that way I just have it all ready here. And you can see there's like big chunks, little chunks, um, and really like this container will last me forever. I don't think I'll ever have to buy a refill for this because you really don't use a lot. Okay, so we're gonna have that off to the side here. Um, and so this I found is the best applicator. Uh, so what you need is you need a glue pen. I like this one, this Nuvo Smooth Precision Glue Pen. Uh, because the applicator is super, super small. This is the smallest one I have found. So you want to lay down, you're going to lay down the glue, and then you need to wait, um, put it aside, wait about 20 minutes for it to dry. So that is a key step right there is, is just you got to wait for it to dry, but it's going to dry tacky, okay? So that when you go, you're going to lay down your flakes and then pat them. And then we're going to use, this is a Nuvo, um, I think it's a stencil. It's a stencil brush. Uh, you could use one of these little stencil brushes too. I've used both. But we're going to basically lay the gilding flakes down. And then I'm going to use my finger to pat them dry or pat them down to make sure that they are fully adhered to the paper. And then I'm just gonna use my finger to uh, burnish over the top and um, then the brush to brush away any extra bits. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the application with the glue. And it's got like, it's kind of like a ballpoint pen applicator. So, uh, and it goes down white, but it dries clear. So I am just applying it and I'm trying to stay in the lines. You, I mean, you do you, uh, but I don't know why. I always, it's just, it's just one of uh, my things I, I, always try to stay in the lines because <laughs> um, otherwise I feel like um, like on that last page that I have to redraw the lines just to keep it all nice and tidy it's probably some kind of OCD but it is what it is so we're applying the glue here and I'm just going to speed up the video here while I apply the glue 
because obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so um, I've let it dry. Actually, I kind of sped up the process a little bit with my heat tool. So you can do that. And it dries tacky or sticky, which is perfect for what we need to do. So I'm going to take this gorgeous little um, piece here. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm just going to start sticking it on those areas where we applied that glue and just lightly tap it down. And I have my little tweezers here to help me with that, kind of tapping it down. And um, I even just, I try to, whatever little pieces are extra, you can just Push them in there where that glue is laid down, if that makes sense. There we go. We'll grab some more and just start laying your flakes down. Uh, let's see. We'll go over here. Pick up some more. And just make sure all of that glue is covered up. Okay, so once we've got all of our adhesive covered up, I'm just gonna start kind of just lightly rubbing my finger over the top and it's gonna loosen up any of those gilding flakes that are not attached with adhesive. So I'm just doing it lightly. Just kind of burnishing it into that glue and breaking up any loose flakes. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of brush it off into the plate here because what we can do with any, any of the um, little bits and pieces we can just scrape them right back into the jar and reuse them at a later time so now i'm going to take my um, stencil brush i guess is what it is and then just lightly go in a circular motion over the top and it's going to help break up more of those stubborn pieces hopefully <laughs> That didn't want to come off. I don't know why that one is. There we go, it's coming now. Just do it lightly though, because you don't want to um, brush off too much of it. All right. All right, so there we go. That one turned out really nicely. I love that. Now the reason what I have here, I didn't know if we'd need to use it or not, but this is a rubber cement pickup um, 
thing. <laughs> um, it's for picking up rubber cement. I actually got it to help pick up masking fluid. Um, so, but I found that if you get some, if you get like, if when you're patting, you might get a little bit of glue on your finger and not realize it and then pat over here. Anyway, I have gotten a little bit messy with it in the past where I got some of the gold foil where I didn't want it to be. And if you take this little rubber cement pickup tool here and just rub it over the top with the corner, it picks that cement or the cement, the glue and the foil right up. It cleans it right up. But I seem to have done okay on this one. And yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I hope this helped you. I hope you found it helpful. And um, let me know if you have any questions. And I will link the supplies that I use down below. You can find them all on Amazon. Of course, um, some of the stuff you could probably find at your local craft stores too. I know uh, Michael's carries uh, supplies for, for gilding and so does Hobby Lobby. So, um, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care now.